and today we're here discussing the Ripperverse again. <laughs> yeah, we're discussing the Ripperverse again. Um, so recently they they released their issue one for Alpha Core. So it's basically the police superheroes that is in the universe that we saw in Ice Storm issue one. I think we saw them a bit. Yeah, we saw them a bit in Ice Storm issue two as well. And now they get the fit. <laughs> They get their own outing in their own issue one. There's a few things I have to say about this. Um, like I couldn't really find any negatives, but <laughs> we're gonna try to like, come up with some if we can. I guess I don't know. It, like there's nothing bad I have to say about this book. I think with Alpha Core issue one, it's it's one of the what well, I would say. What I would say is the peak of the Ripperverse. I said that in ISO Mission 2 because at the time ISO Mission 2 was the best of the Ripperverse at the time. But now I'm starting to see great improvements. The writing for Alpha Core issue 1 is phenomenal. The art is so much better. I love the, the, the art. The art, the pictures, they're so much better to me than in ISO issue one or two to begin with, which that is so amazing to know that these improvements are being made on the visual standpoint all those type of things and that's what you expect to see from a company and from a product standpoint i think that's very wonderful and very great as usual the, the quality of the books is just the same to me i didn't i didn't see any difference in quality versus yeah, um, I saw issue two to Alpha Core one. I think the quality is just the same. It's just as phenomenal. I would say with uh, with Alpha Core issue one, what it has above, apart from the the art, like in it, the the art within the comic book itself, being a lot more phenomenal than both prior issues, in my personal opinion. The covers for Alpha Core issue one is something of a problem. A good problem to have, I guess. Um, with the covers of Alpha Core Issue One, they have greatly improved the covers. Like I have, like even the main cover, I really like. With Ish I saw Issue Two, it was a similar thing, but there was one cover I'm like, Ugh, I really don't like, and that was the cover. It was actually the foil cover. I did not like the foil cover that much. It wasn't a bad cover, bad looking cover, but I just didn't. It did not catch me like it wasn't one of those things i bought because i really wanted to buy the cover it's more like let's get a collection i've done and i wanted to see how the foil looks too but with this cover with these covers with Alpha Core one covers i wanted all of them and i got all of them like they're all so beautifully done the, even my least liked one which would be the um, cover a is still phenomenal the mass print my god I, I you see the improvement in the mass print cover since uh, i would say issue two where the mass print cover was so good i actually wanted to buy the mass print cover issue two i buy some but the mass print cover for issue one of alpha core i would say is amazing breathtaking to say the least it's just so phenomenal the cover the mass print cover work for Alpha Core is it's amazing. You could have sworn it would be like the limited cover the way good it looks. I think it looks a lot better better than cover A in my opinion. I think cover A cover A would have been uh, should have been the mass print and cover D should have been cover A, but you know Regardless, based on what Eric said, he wanted it to be as iconic as possible. So when you do see the co the mass pin cover, it still pulls in regardless of it being the mass pin cover, which is which is cool. I understand it and I get it. And it, but the, the mass pin cover is beautiful. I love the mass pin cover. It's very very beautiful. Um, I've been saying so much good things about these books. Um, but yeah, so. The, the covers are phenomenal, and uh, yeah, let's just talk about the story because we already covered the artwork already, and we talked about the covers. So let's talk about the story. And one thing I noticed with this, let's take a stop. One thing I noticed with this book too, it didn't have any ads in it, which, well, the ads was at the back for other preferred products, which. To me, that's very cool. I I think the I didn't feel even though the ads in uh, issue two didn't really bother me 
more of the ads in issue one did really but i realized there were no real ads in like in the middle of the song which i think was pretty cool i really like the fact that um there were none in it and i guess the reason why there were more likely none in this one was because it was chocolate um they view book so i guess so i guess with that probably for now the any apart from reverse ads like ads in the middle of the book would probably be limited to eric's um ones eric's the, the stories that eric's right so i guess in isom we'll see those type of things which is not a pet peeve or not a problem it's just something that i know is that no, there were no real middle ads in the middle of this book it was just pure pure story from story beat to story beat to story beat in the book um all right let's like we mentioned story let's talk about the story so the story the way the story starts out is pretty in the middle of action if this was a movie you would have like to be honest frame by frame i could see this being an animated movie and i could see it starting just like this in an animated movie and it it's one of those things that holds your attention um from start to end the i think the writing is the peak writing in, in in this book in in this universe the writing in alpha croatia one is peak reverse at this point and i didn't find i didn't notice nor find any spelling or grammatical errors in this book um then again i didn't notice any grammatical error in <laughs> some issue one either i think i did notice an issue two but in each one i did not notice any grammatical errors until someone pointed out online but in Alpha Croatia 1, I did not notice any grammatical errors either. Well, and I hope it's not because I missed any or it just wasn't in there. I hope it was it wasn't in there part. Um, so that's one good thing for me. Ah, uh, I'm looking at the artwork right now, and man, it is phenomenal. Very beautiful artwork. Yeah, so a lot of the characters that the. the the Alpha Core characters that I personally really like, that was a standout in this book, was obviously the leader. Um, I think that was Brax. Or, or Bryce. It was Brax. <laughs> I can't remember his name. But later, the Superman um, looking guy, which is the leader of Alpha Core, he was pretty good. He's basically an ex military person. Brian, yeah. A retired military officer that became a superhero. Well, he's an except obviously, and he joined the force as uh, basically a superhero that helps out law enforcement. You can get the very mi the, mil the militaristic vibe of this guy. It is pretty obvious that he is military, and uh, <laughs> it's just one of those things, guys. Like I like how he's very strict and and uh, so forth. Like. There's a lot of things in this book where none of the characters really outshine either. Because I remember, even with Brian here, and he was having a conversation with a IT tech about something, and the conversation between them was so good, you could tell that like he's more of like he, he's a soldier and he's fit for the field. He's not really a tech guy. He doesn't know these things, so he just sticks to what he's good at. One of my next favorite character is Ingrid. Her vibe and her style, I love that. Like she had a very, very sexy like, <laughs> demeanor about her, and just the way she does conversation and talk and stuff and carry herself. And but she's also tough and fearless and a bit warm at times. She, she, she I think compared to Brian, she's very more warm, easy to warm up to people, but even though she's very rough around the edges, same way. And I really like that about her character of a whole, that she's rough, but she's still kind of a one-liner type of, <laughs> type of chick too, like a confident, but not abrasive or disrespectful type of chick. She's just very, there are times when in the book she does get a bit vulnerable, especially when she was having this conversation with this cop, um, which I'll come to that because that cop is also one of my favorite characters from the book. He actually is a very 
good character, I must say. And、uh, I wouldn't like. I didn't really expect him to be that good of a character when he was introduced, but he really took a life of his own for the very limited time. I would say, well, I felt like limited time. <laughs> he probably was there a good while, but for the time he was there, he, 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 it, you, you could felt his presence. And when it was said and done, he was one of the best characters of this book. Apart from Ingrid and Brian, my least favorite of course character is Bromwell.、Um, it was Braxwell. I'm kind of messing up their names up. I'm so bad. <laughs> They say, "Oh, you do not read a book." Like I could swear it was Braxwell. All right, but but the black guy. <laughs> Let's call him that. The black guy. The black guy was a he, he was he was the least liked character for me. I didn't think he really had that much of a character for me. I didn't really like his character at all. He was more used as oh he's here to get stuff done, get stuff done, disappear. He wasn't really here as in terms of personality wise. I didn't see him get his personality shine that much in this. Issue in my personal opinion, I think his personality didn't really come through that much. Nothing about him really stands out to me that I can recall about his character. That he was just a very by the book、um, character. He follow orders, get jo- get job done, and he kind of reminds me of how Black Noir is probably treated in the boys. Um, in the basis that he just get the job done, and especially in season one, I think where there wasn't a lot of like character development or surrounding, surrounding、um, Black Noir and boys. It's the same thing with this guy. Yeah,、um, there's not a lot surrounding him. He's not really a mainstay, in my opinion. He's very strong though, and he can hold his own. But he's not as a character. He's not that engaging or really there compared to the Ingrid. Brian, I kind of understand given the length of the book, you might have to make the book a lot longer to give him time to shine. So I can understand what he really does. He's not really connected to, I would say, to driving the story forward、um, that much. He just handles business because I think the way the position they were going for it is to like showcase accepts and what the emotional feelings that. It works well, yeah.、Um, the <laughs> short emotion.、Yeah, so I'm saying the point to me, what I got to cotton from the book is to showcase basically the hierarchy of accepts in the universe and what what role they play and how they're viewed by the police and law enforcement, even the Alpha Core team, how they're viewed by law enforcement, which they're viewed as a tool, a tool in a tool, a tool to be used at as a last resort of. Any conflict, in, instead of using to prevent a conflict,、um, which is very interesting, I would say that the, the the world does not revolve nor lean heavy on these superhero、um, persons. They don't really put them up as, I guess, gods compared to, for example, with DC characters and some of Marvel too, where the the character superhero characters are like almost viewed as gods among men. It's more Less mythical in that basis, where where they're not gods among men, they are just people trying to be accepted by the overarching com- community or, or world. So they stay in line as best as possible, and、uh, not too much rock the boat. And you can see that struggle with Alpha Core, especially with Brian, as he has been scolded in the book by the general. Basically, because he tried, basically he prevent a a crime from happening.、Um, that's how the book started to prevent a crime from happening,、um, and、uh, he was scolded for that. He, even no one got hurt, and it was not escalated in a sense, right? He was scolded for that by the chief, as he shouldn't shouldn't have been out there, and he should not be perusing the skies. Oh, but you can tell that Brian doesn't care because he just wants to use his power to do good and get the job done. So he really and truly does. Like it bothers him that he had they basically put chains on him, but 
it's not going to stop him from doing what he thinks need, needed is needed to be done. Because there was one point when he's basically they, they they said that he was off the case and he still worked on the case either way, which I think that was very cool of a character off him. And uh, this is what I say like him and Ingrid are two of my favorite uh, Alpha Core characters. They're they're very likable and, and very understandable. I, yeah, I was like, there's not a lot known about Braxwell, and I'm very interested to see how they will flesh out his character going forward. Alpha Core issues. Um, yeah, so as per the villain stuff, the villains of the story is very interesting. Um, the accepts themselves, but very corporate type of espionage type of villains. They're not, even though they accept and have powers, they're not all powerful um, villains in that sense. Meaning that they're not burning, use their power to burn down the world in a sense. They maneuver the world as like corporate entities and business people instead of just powerful villains and so forth, which I think was pretty interesting. And that, and it makes context contextualizing makes contextualizing the entire book to be more of a detective style type of book, which was very cool and very interesting in my opinion. Like it basically was a procedural cop type of thing where they're they're doing detective work and figuring out who, what connection does certain events have, certain characters have to to the events that precedes and so forth, which I thought was very cool. It was very cool to see that, and it was just very cool to follow the story and in that way. And even the ending, you would think. Which would be an epic ending in an animated movie, I would say. But even with the ending, the core ending, how it really ends, of the villain not really going to prison because we don't. The, the, the Alpha Core team does not have a lot on the villains to put them away. I think that was very interesting. Well, not really interesting, but it was very <laughs> awesome to see that um, it's not just an easy wrap up like that. It's almost give give more of a Lex Luthor vibes, where you can, he can hide things so well on a corporate level where you know it's him doing it, but you can't prove that it is, that is him doing it. And to put him in prison, you have to be able to prove that he is the one doing it. And uh, that's what that that's what, that's that's basically where the ending comes in, and how the un- ending kind of behaves. But one thing I can say that in the ending, Ingrid lost her temper a bit. <laughs> Oh my god, and destroy um, some property for the villains. And I think that was really cool. And how they just walk away is, is almost like. And then Broxwell said, Well, you know that you can just get another one. And Ingrid just responded to him saying, Why why, why, why are you spoiling the moment? Let me enjoy the moment. <laughs> Basically, along the line. And I think that was really cool to see in the story and how the story. So overall, it's a very good story. I think this is the best book for progress in terms of both how the transition of it, how the images are put together, how the pacing of the pacing of this book is very good as well. Um, the, the writing is very good as well. There's not a lot for me to complain about in that sense. Um, yeah, there's not really a lot to complain about. Like, I don't see anything negative to say about this book really. Like, yeah. This is a really good book. I think if you enjoy I Saw and the Rupert Story so far, you this is a must check out for you guys. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good looking book. I'm just a great complaint about that. It's a like, pretty good looking book. Um, I can't wait for Ayara though. Yara is, is. I think Yara will be the first time I, I really get a signed copy for a Rupert Verse product because I really. Um, I'm going to, yeah, Yara will be the first time we get a signed copy for the reverse. But um, overall, the story is good. I'll have a issue one. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's basically where it's in, guys. So, with that said, guys, wrapping up. And uh, just say thank you all for being here. Thank you for enjoying the content. Please leave a like on the video. Definitely check out Alpha issue one if you haven't already. Another thing too, there's a giveaway that's going on on the channel right now. Link is in the description below. Well, 
and the pink comment below too where we're using Gil Gilum <laughs> links in the, the, the comment section down below where a lot of details of how uh, basically how to to submit entries and stuff the main some of the core um, entry way to en enter and stuff but also to, to be valued for the giveaway you have to be watching all the videos on the channel from now till when the, the giveaway ends which is January 17 2024 so you need to be watching videos on channel from it from now till then and commenting on all the videos you watch uh, so I can know that you actually watch the videos and uh, also clicking the link in the in the description well comment to basically get additional ways how to additional points to make you more valid for the giveaway to ranking and scoring to give to basically help towards the giveaway basically so that's all guys thank you guys for being here thank you guys for the content i really love love to see how where the story goes and i hope you guys stick around for more content by subscribing to the channel hitting that bell icon commenting sharing with your friends even if you don't like the comic book style even if they don't like comic book review and unboxing videos we have a ton of gaming videos on the channel so you can share that with them also we would appreciate it i'm trying to make monetization right now and that's really the core of the goal of it so thank you guys for being here thank you guys for enjoying the content and see you guys next time peace